Welcome back on the channel. Today I want to talk about gaming on Linux. And this is a topic every time I mention that I'm gaming on Windows on my channel. And so I just want to show you how you can set up your gaming experience on Arch Linux. And um, I know how to do it, but I willingly are playing on Windows because of some of the DRM features of some games. And yeah, I've explained this in some of the comments on this videos but uh, that's not the topic of today's video i want to show you how you can set up your system so the first thing you have to do is um, and that's one thing that i'm using is uh, to install flatpak because i'm most of the time get this environments for gaming from uh, flathub the other thing is of course you can uh, get it from multilib on arch so um, let's see if i do here uh, search for um, Steam, for example. Oh, it's not typing. Why is it not typing? So if we go into the wiki here, you will see you have to enable multilib repository to install Steam. And um, yeah, that's uh, here the description, how you can do it and what drivers you need and the portals and so on. But um, I'm not doing this type of installation. I'm using um, the Flatpak installation and the Flatpak installation does uh, most of the things and is running out of the box. So what you do is you uh, pick Pac-Man here and I can just show you the package is uh, Flatpak. And uh, that's here in the extra repository Flatpak. And you can even, if I go back here and uh, show you that, you can go to Flathub. Uh, what is it? Org. And uh, here is a button where you can click and you can choose the distribution that you're using. And for example, here, if I take Arch, they tell you how it's done, but it's just a Pac-Man installation of Flatpak, and then you have to uh, restart once. So if you've got Z installed, um, then you can install different apps with it. So like um, Flatpak, and then you can search, for example, for uh, Lutris here. So there are three main why does it take so long now? Um, there are three main uh, installations that you need, in my opinion. The first one is Steam. And then it depends on what uh, platforms you are gaming on. So I take uh, Lutris here. And uh, the other thing is uh, the Heroic Games Launcher. And if you have uh, Z3 installed, that's here this package, Heroic Games Launcher. If you have this three installed, you're already um, good to go with every gaming platform, I think, that's available on Windows. So the other things that are there are then um, Riot Games, I think, is, is the only one that's not in that. Yeah, but, uh, but uh, and uh, for example, if you've got uh, special games like Elder Scrolls Online or some of the um games that have an own launcher uh, then you need uh, different things but uh, i haven't uh, played that games on linux so far and um, the other thing that's really uh, nice that you can go to um, proton db and uh, proton db is uh, the database that shows which games are compatible with the steam deck and if you here search for your games like for example um, counter-strike Um, um then you will see here how the uh, different versions are rated and uh, for example here counter strike 2 is rated gold and uh, with this rating you will see how good it is um yeah um how good it will run or how good it is supported and if you see here in the commands you can often get some tips how to start it or how this folks here um, get it to run and so on 
um but what i will show you first is so um Lutris is the one that i'm using to play battle net games um so that's the thing for me i'm i'm not using the whole app for doing the starter of the the other um clients that are out there i'm just using it for battle net and uh, and then i have here installed from this uh, the better net apps and how you, do you do that you just add uh, installation and lutris provides on their website installation scripts for a whole lot of uh, games and apps and you here just search for um for example better net and uh, then you've got here a um, selection that you can select and if i here go to this uh, battle net tab for example i can directly install it here and he will do all the work for you um read the installation um description so for example um you're not supposed to log in to the battle net client the first time it starts but just close it then and uh, there are instructions that you have to follow in some cases and so read the upcoming uh, um, descriptions that he will give you and otherwise it's just installing for you with the right configuration and so on and a battle net works out of the box really good in Lutris as far as I've um, played and I played almost every game that uh, they have to offer as uh, that's native uh, to Blizzard. So um, not the um, uh, yeah, Activision things like the shooters and so on, but um, like yeah, World of Warcraft and um, yeah, uh, Hearthstone most of the time I play. So uh, uh, yeah, that, that works quite nicely though. The other thing you can use is, and uh, that's here the Heroic Games Launcher, and I'm not using that because I don't uh, use the other stores, but if you are here, um, no, I'm not logged in, um, if you're on Epic, uh, Good Old Games, or Prime Gaming, um, then you can use also this launcher to um, yeah, use platforms, and they, uh, this launcher here, in my opinion, as far as I've heard, supports the stores a little bit better than Lutris, but as far as I know, um, and you can see that here, Lutris has also the sources here, and they also have EA and Ubisoft Connect, and Ubisoft Connect, for example, is uh, when you play uh, the Assassin's Creed uh, games, or when you play Far Cry, for example, that's on the uh, Connect uh, client. Yeah, and of course you can um, configure apps uh, directly when you here say um, install uh, an Excel or install a game. And um, let's see. As this is if you already have configured a game, you can edit just here. You can install the Excel and um, then it's just this here. I thought there was a uh, general tab where you can install also tools and so on like uh, msi scripts but i think then uh, yeah it's just wine in the background with different configurations and you can then uh, even uh, run apps on uh, lutris here so uh, the other thing i don't know if i have that open here already no and um, let's take here this desktop and just um take a steam here So oh, this needs a moment uh, because I'm still on this external hard disk drive to run this Arch installation and I'm not natively on an SSD at the moment here. So if you've got uh, this running like uh, that here, you can just um, look up which games will be possible um, to run on your system. So um, one thing you can do is uh, filter the store for, for this um, occasion. So there is here, where is that? I think you can put a filter in.
let's see. Yeah, here, this is the filter for the operation system. So make sure that you've got a SteamOS and Linux selected here so that the games get highlighted. And you can disable the other ones if you are uh, solely on Linux, then disable the other ones and then he will uh, first up only show you native uh, Linux and SteamOS games. So the other thing you can do is um, click all on and uh, what you can do then is you can just um, take a compatibility uh, layer like Proton and that's if you go into the... Why is he not going? Uh, that's one thing I had already another time. Um, settings here. And uh, here we can go into the compatibility layer here. And uh, you can here select to enable Steam Play for supported titles or for all other titles. So if you this uh, do this, then your whole library gets um, yeah enabled to run over um, Proton. But uh, of course, this is, are then not verified games, um, but uh, there are many games that are not verified that will also run. And uh, you can run these titles with a sp specific version of Proton. And from my experience, which version really runs well is the 7 version or you need the experimental version in, as far as I have tested. But of course, it, this depends on the um, graphics driver that you are using and, and the hardware that you have. But in my experience, um, experience uh, the 7 version works very well. And when you need a newer version or have newer games, then experimental is the way to go. But this is just the default that he will use and you can specify this for every game uh, separately. And that's something I can show you if I go into my library here. Um, so I've got a lot of games and uh, perhaps just take the ones that are installed at the moment. Um, so uh, I've installed Shadow of Tomb Raider to do a benchmark on the system. There's a nice uh, benchmark integrated into the game and uh, the Talos principle I've installed because we had a question on another video for these two games. And I can show you quite nicely here the Talos principle is a good example. It's a puzzle and uh, yeah, like uh, you have to think about uh, different um, things and uh, get through a maze. And uh, like perhaps uh, it's the same gameplay elements like you have in uh, Portal that's perhaps a little bit more known. It's really a great game and uh, just now the second part came out. So um, yeah, if, uh, apart from that, uh, you can here go into it, into the properties of the game. And you will see that here on the compatibility, uh, compatibility uh, layer, um, I have here selected at the moment Proton 8. And uh, here you can force the game and that is if you check this uh, mark here, you check the game uh, to use Proton. So in this case, he will install the Windows version of the game and then use the Proton layer to um, run it on Linux. And the other thing is if I unclick this button, then he will re-download here a few files and uh, so the Talos principle has a native Linux version. And so now I'm running the native Linux version of the game. If I re-click this and select a Proton version here, for example, experimental, you will now re-download part of the game. And uh, uh, yeah, I've already installed it. So if you are doing this the first time, it will take um, longer. He also, if you install the first time a game which needs this Proton version, then he will also download the uh, components for the for the Proton versions. So, but now I'm running the Windows version of the game on Proton Experimental, and he will here um, re-download and uh, configure it so that this compatibility uh, layer is used then. And you can tinker around a little bit with which version um, you want to use. And uh, I think um, you often then get games uh, to go that otherwise won't work. Um, here, for example, in this um, version of the game, every uh, yeah, version that I've tried will work. So 
I've I've tried it with the native version with Proton 7, 8 and Experimental and uh, the 7 version I've also tried with DirectX 11 or Vulkan enabled and so this is a game that almost in every configuration ran on my system here. And so if we now are, uh, let's go into the native version for example, so we have to re-update this now. So, and um, you can here just uh, take the standard version of the game. So this is the thing, at the first time when you start with the native version, he will compile the Vulkan shaders and this could take for the first start a long time. But um, after that, you just uh, have the normal gaming experience. And in my opinion, as far as I've tested, the performance isn't uh, much worse than on for example windows or something even some of the games are optimized uh, quite well and um, you even can get uh, more uh, frames out of the games under uh, linux because um, that's a good thing as uh, valve is I, I perhaps here can just start and do a short demo um, Valve is uh, optimizing and uh, as the Steam Deck gets more and more popularity, um, the optimizations for Proton but also for the games uh, gets more and more common here. And um, yeah, so that's a uh, thing that's uh, really interesting um, how that will go in the future and um, what we will get out of Linux gaming. So and it's really just a few games left that are um, not available and uh, that are the games that have kernel level uh, yeah, uh, copy protection under Windows and uh, that are most of the time games with uh, BattleEye, Vanguard and some of the uh, Easy Anti-Sheet that's the um, copy protection from Epic. Uh, and uh, yeah, so these three are still a problem and will get more and more problem. For example, Riot uh, wants to roll out Vanguard on League of Legends in the future. And uh, that's a problem, of course, because this can't be emulated. And uh, so that games are a no-go. But in my opinion, every other game you will find on ProtonDB or um, if you go... Um, on the Lutris website, they have also um, such a uh, database and uh, good explanations uh, what you can do to get your games running. So um, what can I say in the end for a conclusion is um, uh, gaming on L uh, Linux is a thing and it's working and you uh, don't need Windows if you want to game. But at some points, if you want to play certain games, you have to use it still. And also if you want to have, for example, on a really new graphics card, um, the effects and uh, advantages of DirectX Direct uh, 12, then uh, of course you can't uh, go here with, with uh, Linux at that point. But uh, yeah, decide for your own uh, what, you, what you want to use. And uh, But yeah, I think that's the whole explanation and um, how you can get it running. And if you want to install the... Um, Lutris and the uh, Heroic Games Launcher and Steam uh, directly from the repository. Look into the Arch Wiki. There are also good explanations. And uh, yeah, so have fun gaming on Linux if you want to give it a try. And thank you for watching again. And uh, yeah, it would be really great if you subscribe to the channel. Um, and uh, thanks for watching and bye.